For more on the aftermath of the recent oil spill in Nembe Bayelsa State, and against the backdrop of the host communities in question, we are now being joined by Johnson Oguma, the chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Environment. Welcome to the program this afternoon, sir. It's quite tragic what we have been watching for the past few weeks, but um, why do you feel that it's not safe for a joint investigation visit? My sister, I want to first and foremost say thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, from our own experience and observation on the sports assessment, what we saw and what we discovered, that place is not safe for human habitation from now on because from the level of devastation, which is uh, heart rendering, if you take a look at the human beings living around that area, you will know that if they are your relatives, you will wish that nobody ever go evil kilometers close to the departed area. Because as we speak, even water fight, I mean, a firefighting equipment, they are not on ground, which are supposed to be stationed there almost 24 hours every day. Because that place, you know, it is highly volatile. The vegetation, as I said yesterday, gone. The aquatic life, gone. The environment, gone. People living around that area have no access to any, any means of livelihood. That place, my sister, it is not worth staying for now till the property is done. Thank you. Governor, it, uh, Honorable, it seems like there is quite a bit of work to be done there. Um, the governor has come out to say that there has been loud silence from the Green Chamber. There's also been calls for NEMA, NEMA to step up its efforts as it also seems the Ministry of Environment has not been, um, has not been acting uh, as effectively as some in the community would like. What do you have to say about the responses of these agencies whose job it is really to make sure that things are smoothed over? I... I was there yesterday with a NOSRA representative. And we met one of NOSRA staff on ground with the ITO. There was a statement that we made here yesterday. I don't know whether you want me to repeat them. All the same, what the governor said concerning voice from the Green Chamber, but you will agree with me that there was uh, the Green Chamber, and so that is the Senate. They spoke overwhelmingly over the same issue. It is never late. We are here. We are doing the same thing. But we are very sorry if what was expected of the Green Chambers was not here. But all the same, we are righting the wrongs. That is why we are on ground. That's actually quite... Um it's good to hear that there's going to be proactive um, movement and that... You know, you actually have some feelings about it. We want to know, with the size of cleanup that it will definitely take to um, get Nembe back to the kind of community where uh, its uh, members can make a livelihood, in the interim, what would the cleanup look like? And also, any provisions for palliatives or ways to make uh, the ease of life for the members of the Nembe community in terms of... Um, Renumeration or compensation. Uh, but, 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 you know, I don't have capacity to speak on the level of cleanup. Nozra is in a position to speak uh, as far as the level of cleanup is concerned. But my own, as a, a representative from the People's House, my duty is to see and report to the House so that the House will come out with a resolution as it affects the NEMBE and the OSP. Uh, but you will agree with me that 
With the level of speed for over one month, crude oil was blowing out as if it was, uh, what do you call it, uh, a fountain of water. Oh, you will agree with me that uh, we need to quickly answer the people of Nembe. Nema, as one of the major agencies of the federal government, should, as a matter of urgency, quickly be on ground and be ministry, reaching out to the people. The people of Nembe are our people. And the level of devastation that we saw there yesterday is not a job that can quickly or easily be done in one or two months. Because the level of devastation and the level of speed it will take some time and it will require some technology to effect a proper cleanup. My heart bleeds for the people of Nembe and all the environment. I feel bad because I represent the people. I feel the people. I know what they are going through. I'm not just a politician. I I, I grew up from a village, and I know the deprivation of a village before we will get to a level of talking about uh, OSP in a village that almost have no life. Their livelihood is just water, and maybe the place is river and area, and mainly water, even the vegetation, everything is gone. Uh, my sister, um, uh, I feel bad, and uh, I'm just speaking from my heart. Honorable so and that is the way I feel, and I never should not delay at all for any reason. Because they should not give us any bad name. We are Nigerians, we are caring people. We love ourselves and we should show love to one another. Thank you, my sister. Honorable, thank you for your empathy and your uh, time with joining us this afternoon on Newsday.